So guys, welcome back. We are now in February for the You Can't Win Anything With Kids episodes. Now we have managed to bring in a few players into the fold who unfortunately are under the age of 21. So we've brought in the likes of Philip Mexis, Danielle Bonarera, uh, Peter Laramore. Now obviously he is 21 now but he doesn't turn 22 until December so he does fit into the build. Christoph Prube, 20 years old again. And Johan Elmander, who's 20 years old once again. So we brought in the players into the fold. Now we're hoping, we're hoping at this moment in time that we can get Bonera to actually sign a new contract. So I had to get him on the part-time month-to-month basis. So we're going to be... Bleh. We're going to be starting our new game, and we're at home against Tottenham Hotspurs at Pride Park. Here we go. Oh, Everington makes it 1-0. One, one, one Elmanda, 1-1. One, one. Brilliant response by Johan Elmanda, but, I mean, where are Tottenham Hotspurs at the moment? They're 11th, and we're still 13th. We're still far, far behind everyone else in the pack. Glenn Hoddle makes it 2-1 to Tottenham Hotspurs. We start this episode with another loss. I do feel that maybe we are... Maybe we are, we are nearly there. It's just we need to find the right players, the right balance for the team so we're able to go further on and hopefully exploit this league with these youngsters. Now our next game, we're away against Southampton. Last time we drew with them, 1-1, earlier on in the season. So here we are, we're facing bottom of the table, Southampton, away from home. Now we've got Luke Shaw back, but Per Mertesacker is absolutely shattered. So Chris Smalling's going to come back into the starting lineup. Bastian Schweinsteiger, Aaron Ramsey, even Elmanda are tired as well, but... The, 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 the team itself, they just need to start getting better stamina. They're going to bring on Tom Ince for Aaron Ramsey as well. <clears throat> We're going to keep in Elmander for the time being. I mean, we can always whack on Oxley chamberlain during the course of the game if he starts to tire too much. So here we go, away from home at St. Mary's. Cy Galco equalises, and it's 2-1 to Derby County. Come on, Derby, we need to win this game. We need... Oh, Dan Petrescu, 2-2. Oh my god! We lost the bottom of the table, Southampton. We're now we're 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 falling way behind now with the likes of Middlesbrough and Tottenham. We're we're falling further and further away from the European places and we're looking like we're getting closer and closer to the relegation zone. I mean and the board are unhappy that we that we've lost. I'm sorry, but Derby County are always Getting relegated in the first season on, on my seasons. Anyway, the next game, we're at home against Blackburn at Pride Bark. And last time we played them, we beat them 1-0 early in October. So, next game, we're at home at Pride Park against Blackburn Rovers. Now, Bastian Schwein Schweinsteiger is fully fit, so he's back in the starting lineup. Having a look at some of the other players. Tom Ince, he's going to be staying, and Christopher Proop will do as well. <clears throat> But, I mean, look at the team. They're all fully fit. They're all raring to go. So one hopes, one really hopes, that we can do the business here today against Blackburn Rovers. So here we go. Can we do it? Can we finally end our stupid little streak of bad results? No. Bent makes it 1-0. We've not even had a shot. Aaron Ramsey's coming on for Tom Entz. Saigalco, 1-1. One, one. A point, a point's not good enough. We've dropped to 14th because of that. We are five points away from the relegation zone with 10 games to go. We are not doing good at all. I thought we would have, we would have done a little bit better against Blackburn Rovers, but obviously not. Well, next we're playing Charlton Athletic away from home at the Valley Parade. And the last time we faced them, we lost 2-1 back at the end of September. Right, it's make or break time now. Charlton Athletic are 18th in the league. We have to get a win here today. 
We're going to play Kyle Walker in right back, not Chris Small in. Now I'm kind of thinking maybe I should put Laroma, Laroma, Laroma in central midfield and maybe have Makoku back in attacking midfield and with uh, Tom Ince back in uh, on the subs bench. I mean the team itself look absolutely incredible guys. They really, really do. Now just making sure that some of these are set up in the right spots. Don't want you taking long shots, Elman. Mind you, you've scored a few goals actually, so yeah, do so. Um, Koku, same thing. And what about Saigalko? Forward runs and run with the ball. So we're going on for another, uh, well, I say we're going in for another win. Hopefully we're going for a win against uh, Charlton Athletic here. So here we go. Let's see. Can we get the win? <clears throat> oh no, my new signing Christoph Prube is injured. Oh my days. Right, it's uh, Jordan Henson's coming on. So Galco makes it 1-0, but Hales equalises for Charlton. It's 2-1. Okay, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain's going to come on for Makoku. <clears throat> Alex Oxley chamberlain scores twice. It's 3-1 to Derby County. Fan-fucking-tastic. Alex Oxley chamberlain scored a brace. He helped us over the line. We got the three points against Charlton Athletic. That was brilliant by us. Now, we got 30 points. Now, the magical number is 40 to survive relegation in the Premier League. So, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. But still, we've got a long way to go to try and break into the Europe spots and don't forget we still got 10 games to go so i mean we can get a maximum of 60 points but that would be level on points of liverpool if they've lost every single game from then on which ain't ever gonna happen proves out for three weeks our next game we're at home against aston villa we beat them 3-1 back in october so hopefully we can get another three points in 14 days time so here we are we're at home against aston villa now Christopher Prube is come back from light injury, but he's only got 69%. So we're not going to risk him. So Aaron Ramsey is back in the starting lineup. <clears throat> no other changes in the starting lineup. So let's go head over to Pry Park. Can we do it against Villa again? Can we get the three points? Villa are right behind us in the table at the moment. No, no at half time. It's. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain's going to come on for Makoku. He had a brilliant game against Charlton Athletic in the last game. Oh no, come on. Oh. We were all over Villa and we couldn't get the job done. Eight games to go. We're... I mean, if we survive relegation, that should be, you know, a, a cause to celebrate in itself, obviously. But we were starting, we were doing so well in the, in the second episode. And all of a sudden, we just started dropping again. But the next game, we're away against Middlesbrough. And we drew one all of them last time, back in November. So here we are. We're away against Middlesbrough here today. Now, Christopher Prube is back from injury. So Aaron Ramsey will come off and he'll be back on the subs bench. <clears throat> Now, Ryan Butchern's going to keep his spot in left-back. I feel that Luke Shaw does, hasn't really done enough to, to warrant to keep his spot, even though Luke Shaw does look like the better player. But we seem to be having a better result with Ryan Butchern in at left-back. So let's go over to the game over at the Riverside Stadium. Here we go. We need the three points. We need to be pushing away from the relegation zone. Half-time, nil-nil. We've only had one chance. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain's coming on for Makoku. Ugo Ekiok sent off for Middlesbrough. They're down to 10 men. And we got the draw. We didn't have an, even have a shot on target in the second half. Absolutely stupid. We're down to 14. Aston Villa's leapfrogged us. I mean, we're 7 points clear of the relegation. No, sorry, we're 10 points clear of the relegation zone. I mean, we should be safe, but still... We need to be winning games. Here we are at Old Trafford. Manchester United versus Derby County. Now the board members have met the new potential owners of Derby County. They've met together and they have 
successfully agreed a fee for the new owners to buy Derby County off them. It's not gone over the line yet, but it is very, very close. So now we've really got to be piling on the pressure and trying to win some games and try and get a respectable place in the Premier League table. So we need the three points. We need to be taking points. And Maxim Saikalka makes it 1-0. But George Best and Van Nistelrooy and Andy Cole have made it 4-1. And I don't think the new board... Oh my God. 5-1 to Man United. I don't think the new board... Oh my days. Every time I'm talking about the new board, we lost 6-1 to Manchester United. I don't think the new board is going to be happy with this result. But still... Still, we need, we need to be winning something in this, in this, so they can start to think that they won't get rid of me. Look, their board are unhappy with that defeat. Yes, yeah, so am I. Well, our last game of this episode, guys, we're at home against Ipswich Town, and we lost 1-0 to them back in November. So here we are at Pride Park. We're at home against Ipswich Town. Luke Shaw comes back in the starting lineup, and we lose 6-1. Not having that, not one bit. Ashton Schweinsteiger is tired. So we're going to be making way for him and Tom Ince is going to come back into the fold. Other than that, the team staying as it is. Oxlade Chamberlain's 86. Now we're going to have to swap Oxlade with uh, Makoku. If, if we're not doing that good at half time, Oxlade Chamberlain will have to come on. But the new board have taken over Derby County. And oh my God, Kyle Walker. John Flangen is going to have to come on. The new board's taken over. They're, they're more than likely going to be assessing me at the end of the season. But 2-0 to Ipswich Town. This episode's just gone from bad to worse. 2-0. We're absolutely gobsmacked with that result. We're seven points clear away from the drop zone. Seven points clear away from the drop zone. has not been a good episode for Derby County. But... Nonetheless, we do have potential new owners that, well, new owners now who are going to be putting in a billion pounds to help push Derby County up the table and potentially fighting for the title next season. But will I keep my job? Will I, sit, will I be able to see that money so I can build a team full of legends? We will have to see in the next episode, guys. But until then, if you do like this video, guys, please make sure that you do smash the like on the video, subscribe to the channel, Hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode or never miss a live stream on this channel. But guys, thanks very much for your time. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you at the next video that we have here at TGR. That's Gaming Robbo.